Guys, in this video, we are going to be building a simple application that you can see on the right side of the screen. So it's basically a simple drawing app that I've built using React JS. So in this application, we have a button here that is clear canvas and we have a canvas here where we can draw freestyle drawing. So it's a very simple application, not having too many features, but it's just a simple drawing app where you can do freestyle drawing. And then you have a button to clear the canvas, clear the drawing and start drawing fresh to build this kind of component where we can draw freestyle we are going to be using a library called fabric js in react so without wasting any time i'm just going to create a new react application in visual studio code and we are going to rebuild this application from scratch so guys i have a new react application running here in visual studio code and we are going to recreate the drawing app in this new application so i'm here in my app.jsx i'm just going to close this window to expand the code a little bit more and here in app.jsx i'm just going to remove all the default code that we have here so let's remove everything let's remove all the default states that we have here and i'm just going to create a div tag which is going to be containing all the other elements that we are going to need in this application to start with we are just going to create a simple button and this button is going to say clear canvas so if i save this i am able to see a simple button here that is clear canvas we'll see later how we can make this button work but for now let's create another element here that is going to be canvas so we have a clear canvas and we have a canvas here so what we are going to try and do here is we are going to initialize this canva by using a library called fabric js so i'm just going to open a new terminal here and install fabric into this application by running a command npm install fabric so now we have all the packages that we are going to need in this application we are going to make some imports here at the top so here at the top the first thing that i'm going to import is fabric from fabric so we have imported the fabric library in this react application and there are a few more things we need to import here that is going to be use effect and use ref and here in the canvas element that we have created i'm going to put some styling so we can see this canvas on the screen so in the style tag i can say that border should be one pixels solid black so we can see the canvas here we can see the canvas clear canvas button here to align all this properly here on the day what i can do is i can say display is going to be flex flex direction so i want these elements to align vertically so flex direction is going to be column and that's how we want our layout to look like with a clear canvas button on the top and drawing canvas here at the bottom so we got the canvas here and here in app component we are going to create a use ref variable that is going to be canvas ref and let's create a reference to the canvas and the initial value of this is going to be null as soon as canvas is going to be rendered on the screen the reference becomes canvas ref so to this canvas element i'm just passing this variable as a reference and this is going to be very important to initialize this canvas with the fabric js library so once we have created the reference i'm just going to create a use effect so what i want is as soon as the application will be loaded as soon as this page is going to be loaded i want to initialize my fabric canvas by using a library that is fabric so here we are going to initialize the canvas by writing fabric dot canvas and we are going to pass the reference here inside fabric canvas so basically by passing a reference here we are telling the application that the fabric canvas should be rendered on this canvas element because this reference has been passed to this canvas element so this fabric canvas whenever it loads it's going to be rendered on this element which is canvas so once we have defined the fabric canvas we can put some more parameters there we can say that height of this fabric canvas should be 500 and width should be 500 so it's just going to expand the canvas and make it a little bit bigger so now that we have defined the fabric canvas we need to do one more step here so this use effect is going to return something and in the return we are going to say fabric canvas dot dispose as soon as canvas has been defined and loaded we are going to dispose the canvas here which means that every time the application is loaded new canvas is created again and the previous canvas is disposed so that's all about defining the canvas using fabric js library we got the canvas here we got clear canvas button 
so now we have to see how we can enable drawing on this canvas as of now uh, there's nothing happening when i like try to draw something here so as of now i'm not able to draw anything on the canvas so the next step we have to implement drawing features on this canva and we got a clear canvas button which should also work so when we draw something and click on clear canvas the drawing should disappear so let's implement the drawing feature first so how we can enable the drawing feature on this canvas so guys to enable the drawing feature on this canvas we need to make some changes here where we define the fabric canvas using fabric library so fabric library is going to help us enable the drawing feature there so while defining the canvas we have passed height and width so along with height and width i'm just going to pass one more parameter here that is is drawing mode to true so i'm just going to enable the drawing mode in this canvas so what this is going to do is this is going to enable the drawing on this canvas but as of now i'm still not able to draw anything on the canvas so we need to do some more steps here so before we are able to draw on this canvas what we have to do is we have to define a brush that we are going to use to draw so i'm just going to say here fabric canvas dot free drawing brush is going to be new fabric dot pencil brush we are going to be using a pencil brush to draw on this canvas and here i'm just going to pass my fabric canvas so i've defined the brush that i'm going to use to draw by using a fabric library where i defined it as a pencil brush and i'm also going to define the color that i'm going to use on this fabric brush so free drawing brush dot color the color is going to be i'm just going to be passing the black color here which is a hexadecimal code for the black color so now if i try to draw something you can see that i'm able to draw anything on the canvas i can also control the width of the line that is being used to draw here so to do that i'm just going to say fabric canvas dot free drawing brush dot width let's make it five so when i make it five the width has been increased a little bit now the brush is a little bit thicker if i make it 10 this time the brush is going to be even thicker so you can control the width you can control the color that you want to draw on this canvas so as you can see that this is very simple we have just written a few lines of code and enabled the drawing feature on this canvas element but as of now this clear canvas button is still not working so we have this button here but it's really it's not doing anything so we are going to make it work so what we want is as soon as we hit on clear canvas all the previous drawing should disappear and we should be able to draw fresh so guys to make this clear canvas button work here we have to create a new state variable in this application and this is going to be canvas set canvas this is going to be a state variable which is going to have an initial value of null so what we are going to do here is when the application is loaded this use effect runs it loads the fabric canvas and as soon as the fabric canvas is loaded and we have made all the adjustments on the fabric canvas we are going to save our fabric canvas into our state variable that is set canvas to fabric canvas and here on the button i'm just going to make a function that is on click function so when somebody is going to click on this button all we have to do is canvas dot clear so this is going to clear all the drawing on the canvas when somebody is going to click on this but to be able to use this function we have to save the canvas first in the state variable which we have already done here so we will be able to do canvas dot clear on click of a button so now let's test this application again i'm just going to draw something here and as soon as i hit on clear canvas my drawings are gone so i'm able to start a fresh drawing again so guys that's all i wanted to cover in this video this video is all about fabric js and how to use it in our react applications if you want to see more videos on fabric js leave me in the comments and if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one